Welcome to the D&D World. World. Quick little quiz for everybody, or quick fun fact, I should say. Uh, Pythium was actually a misspelling of the word Pythias, or Pythian, because I went to a summer camp when I was a kid called Pythian Youth Camp, and I have fond memories. I went there three years in a row, and uh, or three summers in a row, I went to that summer camp and had a lot of fun, and... Uh, Oh, I'm being called already. God damn it. Moments later. Okay. Still settling in as well. Hey, arts and crafts. Hey, um, one of the uh, players uh, picking songs helped me uh, figure out the uh, graphicus situation. How does it look now compared to the other two nights or the other few nights? Doesn't that look lovely? It actually moves. It still has a little pop here and there, but nothing like it was the other the other few nights. And, uh, have you checked out the, uh, AnimeCon video yet? Much later. I know, doesn't it? <laughs> Two-thirds of it. Was it that boring? I thought it was kind of fun, that, uh, Comic-Con. I don't have it with me. I'd show it to you right now, but, uh, you know what? Since I really haven't started anything anyway, this probably isn't even going to be part of my video, so uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the, uh, yeah, be right back. You get the idea. I know I keep walking away, but, uh, actually the Fresno Malls aren't that big. They're bare, uh, Sierra Vista's barely a half a mile. Uh, Manchester Center, I think, is the largest one that's about, you know, a little under a mile. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, they're all about a uh, little over half a mile at size. Anyway, I didn't get to show this very well, so here you go. This is Special Guest. This was given to me by Pete, the guy running the show, when I first arrived there. I think I gave the story about that on the video, too. But uh, this was kind of a shock to me because uh, I did something a little norm un unusual for myself. I went and got on the cha uh, his Facebook channel and uh, basically asked permission to uh, take videos and pictures of the uh, convention, which he was more than happy with, but asked me to go and meet him first before I did anything. And he gave me that and then gave me a few guidelines about uh, what I can and cannot do in there. Which is basically the same stuff I do anyway, so. I'm not really paying attention to what's there anyway, except for right here, so... I think I'm good. But, uh, yeah, and then, um... Apparently I'm starting to get recognized by a lot of the people I run into a lot, and they've been watching my channel, so... 
Now I know where the 781 people are coming from. Well, a good majority of them are apparently Fresnans. <laughs> apparently they like to support their fellow Fresnans. Which is kind of nice. And I mean, I'm supporting them by putting uh, their images on uh, YouTube for the world to see. So I guess it's all in good favors. Okay, hey everybody, this is Dave on CRPG Dungeons and Dragons Night. I know I'm a little late bringing that up, but uh, yeah, I'm back on uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online, and it's been a while, uh, at least a couple of days. And if you watched the earlier video I put up, that was made on Friday. This is tonight's video, and um, it'll probably be up either s late Sunday night or early sa Monday morning by the by that point. So. Um, I hope uh, everybody's doing okay. Uh, we got Oizuno and Swiftwinds. I think that's a new name for me. Hello, Swiftwinds. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but hello. I just gotta figure out where everyone else is. Yep, there was a little hiccup right there, but uh, that was the game itself that did the hiccup. That wasn't my uh, recorder. Chalupa Nukem. Interesting name. Eventually, I'll figure this all out. <laughs> the harbor. It's a strange feeling we're going back to the ship. Well, it was pretty nice uh, arts and crafts. I can say that uh, made me feel rather official being there. Halfling with martial arts skills? Okay. Yep, 
Monk, champion, male, halfling. Halfling, monk, I was right. Okay. Now I got that off my chest. to bring me to a sewer level, didn't you? Uh, definitely. Uh, I think there was only one person that did not want me to take their pick, and I respected that, so. But, um, <laughs> there was also, uh, several people that recognized me from the other conventions, and were more than happy to have their pictures taken again in their new costumes. For instance, if you check out my uh, previous videos, uh, there was one girl in a Wolverine suit in, um, at the latest con, but uh, the con that I was at previously, she was wearing a, a Red Devil suit. I called her a tiefling, but she said she was actually a devil, so... <laughs> Oh, there he is.
Don't look to me like I know what I'm doing. The floors, walls, and ceiling drip with leaves. Quick, as you approach it, So this room stinks a little less. Thing, did I? I must have hit the other thing on accident. Very well.
like we're missing something. Take my uh, mouse off of the uh, search button. Yeah. Chest in this room could only belong to one of the cobalt. better. things were coming from. We're all done. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, Dirk, I know all about your secret. I killed the Cobalt Brothers, too.
know why I keep them in, getting the cat here right under my nose. It's not like my cat's in here 24 7. Yeah, I named her after my cat. Whatever. Get over it. sound beneath the floor sets your nerves on edge. It's running perfect now. Little hiccups every now and again, but nothing too noticeable. In fact, I think the hiccups are the game itself, so... But yeah, I put it down to 20 like you said, and it's running almost perfectly. Well, you can totally drop it down to 15 and not notice any difference. Hmm. Well, 20 seems to be doing alright, so we can leave it at that. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Yeah, we got to work on uh, your hot bars and get you some potions. Buy, or remove curse potions that you can buy. There's a lot of potions, basic potions that you're going to really need if you don't have any yet. Yeah, okay. Well, you're a monk. You don't necessarily need pots as a monk. <laughs> Well, I got uh, two up right now, right next to each other on my screen, so...
is that there's numbers on your hot bars. You got a number one and a number two. Right. It, it, the bass plays off the number one hot bar, but your keypad, your one, two, three, four, five keys across the top of your keyboard play off of your number one hot bar. So you're going to have attacks like uh, Intimidate, Cleave, and uh, Smite Evil that you're going to want to assign to the one, two, three, four, five key. All right. Hot bar, because those are special attacks that you can do while you're fighting just by hitting that one, two, three, or four key. Uh -huh. uh, when when monsters run past you after me, if you have your intimidate in your number one key, you can hit that number one key and intimidate them as they're running past you, and they'll turn around and come back at you. Ah, okay. So that's how there's a lot of attacks. There's essentially ten attacks put in your keys across the top that you can do in combat and not have to stop and use your mouse to reach over and click them right. somewhere. Oh, at this particular moment I don't have much in the line of the of attacks at the moment. It's just uh, mainly stuff that I have as a what do you call it? Uh, well, you, 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 as you're right now last I looked, your number one key was sneak. You don't need to have as a character like that, you don't need to have sneak in a hot Okay, well, it's out of there then. <laughs> okay, what's this one? Put your intimidate in your number one bar because that's what you're going to be doing most often to try to get people to come attack you. Okay. The front guy tank, so you want that up front. Do you have cleave yet? You may not have cleave yet. I don't think I do, and I'm not using ranged weapons, so I can remove that. So, you yeah. know. Well, and you've got your. I've seen that you had a cloak in your hot bar that you don't need to activate. Okay, that's out of there too. All right. Yeah, I've mainly been switching between four or five swords. So. <laughs> well, yeah, you can put your swords in a hot bar down there somewhere. You're going to have some feet that you pick from your feet tab and some of your enchantment tabs that will be on all the time, like precision or power right. attack. Uh, some of the stuff from your tree. When you turn it on, there'll be a little blue racing icon going around the outside of it that you know that that's active. That needs to be in the hot bar somewhere off your main one so you don't actually turn that on or off. Right. Okay. What's this one? Smite Evil. We'll put that at second place. Sunder. I don't think I've ever actually used that one, but we'll put that third. Put the animals over here. Well, once you... It's, right now, you're not going to have a lot of attack that you can use in combat. Maybe your one, two, three, and four buttons will have something that you can use. As you grow in power, you'll have more. You right, know, of course. That whole hot bar up okay. Well, I think I'm set up for now and got a little bit more open space going on here. Right now. As it is right now, it's easy for things to get pulled out of your hot bar and dropped in combat. Go into your options. Uh, okay. Click on options. Click on the UI settings, and the, like the second square it says lock shortcut items to the hot bar. If you click on that right there, and it'll lock everything down. You can't. You can drop stuff in it, but you can't drag stuff out of it. Okay. All right, I got it. Okay. Now that'll help you in your combat a lot more. You've got attacks you can use. Your intimidate. Your you don't have a trip, sunder, smite evil are all right there easily accessible now. Alright. Uh I think I need to go to the store to empty out uh, my uh, inventory a little bit. Be right back. Looks like you've got a level of, oh also I've also noticed that you you've got your uh your text box set to a guild. If you'll click on the party tab you'll be able to see what people saying to you in party because you're not seeing a lot of stuff that Cap's saying to you. Oh, okay. Yes, I see it. Okay. I got on party now. Well, and you can also make that text screen bigger so that uh, you don't miss as much. But right now, if one person says something and then another person types, you wouldn't miss what that first person said. Okay. Click on the corner and you can raise it up and lower and as big as you want. Okay. Uh, now you says you have a, uh, a a level up to do upper left hand corner. You've got a blue icon on there. 
Oh, yeah, I do. I didn't even notice that. That must have just popped up. Yeah, that's a level up. And you're going towards where a, the, the, the trainers are. So just keep coming this way. Mm. Yeah, I'm going over to the store. To the, not the store, but the uh, person over there. And I'm going to sell a few things off. Well, yeah, there's trainers over there. Okay, we'll go talk to them in just a wee moment. So. You see anything redundant in his hot bars cab? Like a item he don't need that don't need to be clicked on or need to be swapped out? He looks about like it needs to. Uh. Not well. There is a few that uh, I'm doing, and I'm just getting rid of those. So. Oop. Well, I was asking uh, on a on oh. a Zumo on a Uno. I don't know what his name is. We call it Cap. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'll ignore you then. My alts have, have, oh. have most of my alts have fraud in their name. Uh, except this one, but everybody calls me fraud or Don. My name is Don. Mm. Yeah, I saw that earlier. The heel skill on your hot bar, it, yeah, it's kind of useless. You have to have a heel kit, and you have to catch the person that's wounded before they drop into death. So there's a, like a three-second window that you can walk up and use your heel skill to stay. Oh, are you talking I've to me? Never seen it done. Yeah, talk to you. Okay. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Hold on. I got to uh, activate the thing to turn turn it out now. So, okay, hold on. And there we go. Okay. And this now, then we can put that you over know, there. You said you got poison earlier. You don't have any poison pots, right? We're, we're going to go get you some poison potions and some healing potions. Okay. To remove curse potions. A couple little pots to help you in combat. All right. Uh, let me finish up here real quick. I think I was going to repairs. Hello. Okay, everything is repaired. Okay, I think I'm all set now. House Kandari. We have to go through to where I'm at here. See, this is the teleport right here. Yeah. Click on the teleport and go to House Kundar. Okay. On my way. Yeah, we'll get we'll get him some pots and I'm gonna run him back by house and get him. So that's the that's the easiest way to go. Now, go behind. Come around here and go behind the teleport. Again. Okay. Up this ramp. You've got your feather ball out of home, so you just jump down. Under this guy right here, there's a guild potion vendor. His, his, his pots are a little bit cheaper than the rest of them, and he's got all the basic potions. Alright. A plethora of potions. The main ones you're going to want to grab are some remove poison potions, some remove curse potions, maybe some remove disease potions, and a few healing pots. Now, the most you can get at a time is a hundred. That's all you can have in one stack. Uh, I can show you, like, if you're going to pick out some potions of, uh, uh, some blindness remove potions are good too. You hold your control and right click. No, that's wrong. Control right click post in your yield chat. Control left click will pop up a window so you can type in how many you want to pull from the window from the store. 
Okay. Potion of uh, poison neutralization. Yeah, potion of poison neutralization. Get you, get you, uh, twenty or thirty at the end. Okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten any curses or the other thing, so I just got ten of those for the time being. That'll work. Now, later on in the game, uh, you'll need to remove curse and remove disease potions because you'll get mummy rot, and the only way to get rid of that is to use those two potions again. But that won't come to a level ten, so. Okay. Okay, I think I'm good. All right. Um. Now I need to level now to go level up. Yeah, we're we're fixing to go to that. Yep. Mm -hmm. What? Where'd it go? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Lost track of you. Around. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to this teleport here, and we're gonna go to house and get second option. Dennis. Okay. to play with, so what do I want to do? I'm going to stick to these two, of course. What's this? Business. Harder skins. Silver, what? What do silver dragons breathe? Looking at my thing here. Uh, if one of you guys can see it, uh, let me know. 
I want to know how do I get to uh, act, it, it shows it here but uh, I don't know how the uh, race enhancement things work but it shows at some point that I can do breath weapons but um, I don't know how to get to that what's the best way to get to that Yeah, I see it right there, but it's like, a, you know, it's at a point where I can't activate it yet. <laughs> well, you've got to add points to your racial tree. It should tell you how many points you need to get it. Uh, I'm not sure where, uh, I don't, I'm not sure where that is. Dungeons and Dragons will return after these messages. Back to Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, it won't let me accept it. Oh, it only allows me to do one. Okay, that's what the problem was. Yeah. Okay. Well, the thing is, is I don't know what color my dragon is. I was going for silver, I thought. But apparently, I can't do breath weapons. Yeah. Well, I figured out which one it was. Okay, thank you. Let's see. You've added your point, and you want to put your attack in your hot bar. You have to pull up your character sheet to get to that. Right. And then you hold that in your in your numbered in your numbered hot bar so you can attack it while you're fighting. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna turn that off again. So I can move things around. Uh, well, you don't have to lock them unless you just want to. Oh, right. Lock them because they get excited in combat. They right. Act and distract them out of the hall. <laughs> and when I roll a new character, a lot of times I won't lock my hot bars until I got it set and I know that's how I want it, and I'll lock them now. Mm -hmm. So I may beat my levels for I lock them. Down. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, I think I got it. Yep. Okay. I've been looking forward to this part of the day. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So now I can set things ablaze with my breath. Just like when I'm drinking. Well, that's the thing. It made me put in fire, but the thing is, is I thought I was trying to be silver. Apparently, I'm not silver enough. I don't know. <laughs> well, I got something to breathe, so. Yeah, turn around. Eh, both the ship, everything looks alike on this ship. We're going back to the harbor. 
to the harbor. Okay. Okay. Talk to Harbor Master Zen here. Oh, Zen? Do we stretch out and someone's head and talk to you? Children, they've stooped to taking children now. What are you talking about? Children have been disappearing from the harbor. We've tracked them down to the waterworks sewers, where the cobalts live. They've gone too far this time. Two of the missing were Guard Timber's cousins, so he rushed into the waterworks after them. Pythium, you've dealt with cobalts before. Will you go into the waterworks and help Guard Timber? Very well, I'll find Guard Timber and save his cousin. All right, let's get it on. Oh, joy, sewers. Back into the shit juice. The strong smell of sewage permeates the air around you. What is this place? Okay. We've got the escorts that have kind of paved the way for us. <laughs> Oh, okay. So that's who those guys are. Yeah, they're a little bit further. Uh, you see a yellow arrow on your map? There's a blue one with it. Oh, I see. They're up there ahead of us. Okay, whoop. There's your fire breath. There you go. Uh, I should really watch my drinking. <laughs> you see the treasure bag on the ground? Yeah. But that's how you know there's been somebody ahead of us killing monsters. Because the monsters are dropping. Uh, you can take it you guys don't really care for those little sacks. There's never anything really in them anyway. Uh, there's a, there's collectibles. They can be used for a multiple we played the game for a long time. You kind of figure as much. Crafting Crafty. stuff mostly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm only a level one pro. So let's just do R1 until I get some better gear. Let's shrink that down just a little bit. Uh, right there, okay. So I can at least see the... Yeah. There we go. That's better. Enter. Maybe 
direction. We got we got to explore the whole area. So I'll let you pick which way you want to go first, because it don't really matter. Mm -hmm. Lock the door. Let's see if I can pick that. Mm -hmm. Ah, door can't be picked. Mm -hmm. Wait, maybe if I roll a bigger number. Hang on. chest up here. Chief Ichik's key. With the lost souls, I see those pop up periodically. Well, those will only pop up on a Reaper quest, and the lost souls give spellcasters spell points back. Oh, okay. I got my breath ready just for the door. <laughs> I can just imagine those kobolds are just sitting there, then all of a sudden the door opens and a blowtorch shoots through. Tooth, God, run key. Not necessarily need that because I can probably pick the lock, but we got it anyway. Oh, we're done up here. See the spiders up there. Should be a spider in this room. Optional ball spider in this room right here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I see him. Got white cap out of it. White cap. Yep. I got the door. All set. Ah, that was stress reliever. Miss the jump. Of helping kobolds regret their life decisions. Well, that breath weapon definitely comes in handy. I hear you just fine. Well, oh, okay. Oh, 
Well, it sounds like me the first time I played this thing was glitchy as all hell the first time I ever played it. Well, there's there's probably other reasons why your game is glitchy. You probably got a lot of your graphics turned way up, and if you turn those down, and it'll make it. Yeah. Some of the graphics don't need to be turned high, they'll go. That'll really slow the game down. Want the ramp? Kept two of them prisoner, now we gotta go get them. Whoop. Oh, crap. Yeah, I ran right past it somehow. myself not to just run through doors like an idiot. Yeah, he said that uh, they're in he's got the two uh, adventurers in a prison somewhere. Yeah, we can go cut them loose. Well, do we have to? Well, when you put it that way. Of course, I'm a, supposed to be a paladin. I should be, like, honored to do it and stuff. But, you know, I'm not that kind of paladin. about that. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Can't do it just yet.
but I'm dazed. I think that's what's keeping me from getting killed by that uh, Reaper thing. So I better hold on to it then. Oh, uh, an ar set of armor I got has Death Block on it, and I think that's what's been keeping me from getting a uh, um, X Personed by the um, Critter, the um, Reaper-looking thing. So I figured maybe I should just continue wearing the armor. <laughs> All clear. Don't know about any traps though. Wandered off like that. All good. You get used to it. <laughs> okay. It's the gather for buffs moment. I yeah. I got the door. If there's anything here to barbecue. There they are. Supply stash here. Remnants here. Okay. Staircase number one, staircase number two, or staircase number three.
over. Picking songs has lost connection, it says. Everything all right, man? Oh, it's just this shitty Arkansas internet. <laughs> All right. Well, we got two treasure chests here. Yeah, I think it's a lot. Boots of feather falling. Those are handy. <laughs> Will that help well, along with my cloak? <laughs> What? No, they won't stack. They, they won't, won't stack. stack. Oh well. <laughs> I'll keep the cloak. Alright, we got a gong show right here. Now you're trapped in here with me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're trapped in here with me. So that's all that gong did was close the gate. Uh, I think it acts no, that that gong sometimes will spawn a fall. Hmm. Got a couple of little fellers right here. Time to get me. Hmm. Oh, I find it. 
Now looky, looky. Those rounds that we don't necessarily need yet, probably will use it before we get out of this area. Or use one of them. Small wooden idol. Oh god, the cobalts, those miserable stinking cobalts, had you killed many and finished them off, will you, all of them, kill them and leave them for the rats and worms? That was the idea. Interesting painting. That's over where I'm at. I'm looking right at it. Okay. Well, I'm looking right at one, so... Really don't need to, but I'm going to anyway. Okay. Oop. Treasure bag. What is that? There? String of prayer beads. All right. Hi guys. I missed you. was one pass. I keep meaning to hit the Intimidate, but I keep hitting one on accident <laughs> and setting off the flames. Clan Nash to his main prison. Okay. Just.
Treasure chest. That was interesting. Well seasoned. Provocative. Cousin Timber sent me. Good old Timber, always, oh, uh, oh, whatever. He's gone. We gotta get him out of the area first. <sighs> and so we also gotta be escort service? Okay. I can uh, live yeah. with that. And if he dies, we fail the quest. Is he following anybody particular? The person he talked to. Whoever talked to me follows that person. You can talk to him and tell him to stand still. Looks like Onazuna's the one that uh, has the honors. Not the way we came, right? Yep. Yeah, he sent me a message said that he wasn't feeling well and he was just gonna log in and do his daily role. All clear ahead of us so far. Dashes off towards the surface and safety. 
That's the moment ago. The boy's always getting in over his head, but he saved him this time. And been, uh, Ven's being held by Chief Jiddick's Tunnel Worm Cobalt. You'll have to find the Clan Tunnel Worm Lair. It's where the eastern part of the water works. Yeah. Um, just recall what you're done here when you go sell and repair. Everybody's hitting recall, I take it? Yeah, yeah. We're going to recall out. We're, we uh, need to go sell and repair. Okay. Plus, it's a long run from where you're at to the next quest. It's quicker to recall out and run there. Okay. I guess I can clear out my stock, too, for a minute. Using shields. Oh, yeah, soul gems. You wear uh, medium armor, right? Or are you wearing full plate? <laughs> I wear full plate. I was right at next to it. Okay. <laughs> Still not used to the map yet. It won't take you too long. You're getting all figured out. The strong smell of sewage permeates the air around. Well, we don't have to wait for This is low level shit. We can watch the these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's why we recalled out. We had to run all the way back out. Yeah, that would have been a pain in the ass. Seven of ten slant, zero of six waterworks. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, I was swinging at you guys. I got a little carried away. Got the owl. Oh, on a Zuno. Okay. I just realized the uh, new guy is gone. I got here. Okay. That was a little easier than expected. Have holy hand grenades, okay. trap here.
Taken care of.
chest under the stairs? Yeah. I don't have any ranged weapons. Yeah, they're handy to have. You don't have to have them. You don't have to have a bolt or something like that. Some big over here. That got his attention. Slimes keep wearing out my swords. Yeah, reason well, the thing is, they always seem to pop up right on top of me, so I don't get a chance to get away. Oh, I got other swords, it's just, uh... <laughs> I got like a nice block of uh, great swords with me, so I am good, but uh, yeah, I just uh, whenever those slabs come around, I'll come running back to you guys like a little girl. Um, just uh, wait right here and I'll deal with these tracks. Oh, cool, okay, I'll take that. I don't think I have anything worth your time to trade back though.
come on. What is it with these slimes? They're like magnetized to me. I know, I'm trying to get away from him. just died. Oh, 
I fell down and had below zero. Suddenly, without a reason why. Whatever, the point is, I fell down, I went boom, I was below zero. <laughs> At least I can get to these guys. I gotta run all the way back over to a um You can drop very far, you can only run ten seconds away from your soul. Mm -hmm. So I just gotta sit here and wait. <laughs> uh somebody's got your stone. You tag along with that whoever's got your stone. Yeah, yeah. I, I tried to get it up. Oh no, there's your stone right there. I thought somebody was thinking on I'll get your stone. We'll take you to a shrine. Ain't nobody got raised in. Okay. Okay, I just have one question. Is the thing that got me dead? <laughs> yes, the thing that got you is dead. I killed him. What was it? <laughs> it was a champion. It was a champion cobalt. Uh, okay. That was unexpected. What time is it? Ooh. Now you can click on your combat tab and it should be able to show you how you died and what killed you. Okay, what's that? On your on your chat box there's a general tab, a guild tab, a party tab, and a combat tab. The combat tab should have all the stuff that mm. killed you. All the damage you may just scroll up the way. Okay, Cobalt Shulman's uh, Lightning Bolt Rebound hit you for a total of 28 points. Wow. As I was a shaman, it was that little shaman I was right up against. Things are really putting up a fight, aren't they?
I'd help, but I have a slight problem with, with the case of death. That was Harry. Give me just a minute, guys. I didn't realize the time. I gotta go take care of a few things. I'll be right back. Dungeons and Dragons will return after these messages. Your dungeon master has placed you in a dreadfully precarious position. You're playing the most phenomenal game ever created. Your skin grows cold from your first glimpse of the enormous beast. It's a product of your imagination. Survival depends on a quick, decisive move. Your choices are limited. Stand and fight or run. Use your lightning bolt. Victory is yours. Win the treasure. TSR Hobbies. Dungeons and Dragons games. Products of your imagination. And now, back to Dungeons and Dragons. Not at all. Didn't miss me at all. I fucking miss COVID, man. Okay, I won't go Leroy Jenkins on you guys. <laughs> I'll sit here and listen. Come over here and look at this hole. Okay. Yes, that's a deep hole. That's a deep hole. You'll see there's there's little logs along the edges. Yeah. There's a log right at the bottom. I'll catch it. You want to land on this log right here. Not that one, this one. Land on the log, I'm standing on. And then underneath you, there's a ledge. We want to jump down and land on that ledge. Oh, 
Almost missed it. Okay. missed. Oh, but there is a ladder here. Yeah, there's a ladder. I see them, yeah. I know I've missed quite a few, but... Well, we try to... The remnants are pretty handy. We try to let everybody know when the remnants drop because everybody gets a shot at them. What's hitting me? Oh, oh it's by my feet. Yeah, they kind of blend in. Kind of, sort of. Now, now I'm sure you with them. It's, it's real handy for fighting those guys. Mm. Now look at what it's made of. Check out that barrel twister right here. And look at what it's made of. It's made of crystal. So it won't take damage from, from acids or oozes. Oh. Okay. You had to. And there's a blue shine substance you can find there, but it's important to get a hold of the blue shine stuff.
level six yet, so. Wu Tang Long. Well, no, I wasn't complaining. I wasn't complaining. I was just saying I'll just hold on to that until I'm level six. <laughs> Which shouldn't take too much longer. You said the uh, big boys in that other side of that door there? Yeah, the boss is through here. Mm hmm. The end spot. You notice recognizable letters among the scratches on the wall. They read. Have we here? Mark of the Keeper. Two copper doubloons. You hear loud footsteps on the other side of the door. <laughs> we got a password out of a treasure chest. Busy at the moment. Yeah, in your upper right hand corner, you see your goals. Yeah. 
Uh, find Venacurin and free tunnel worms. So that, yeah, what about them? All right, now, let's see these doors that we've just passed. There's two doors on each side right here of these yeah. cells in this hallway. Yeah. All right, the, the, the guy we're looking for is going to be laying on his side inside one of these doors. We've got to make sure we check these hallways as we go by them. Okay. Now, you technically don't have to open every door. You can just walk up and look. If there's some box or something, you can bust it. But oh, okay. Open everything. I'm, I'm oh, so otherwise I'm just wasting my time doing that. Okay. Yeah, ain't no sense. Like I said, you ain't got to... Like, we got we to gotta bring her into what on the way. That got his attention. Rescue can it truly be? I didn't dare hope. Not once. My 30th yeah. day down here. I will come and please tell me that's the reason. You know you're free to get out of here. <laughs> okay, he's out of here. Cruel implements of torture are scattered around. That was a nice cluster of them. Trying out this new toy to play with. Find your new weapon. Yeah, great ham, uh, great hammer or a mall. Excuse me, a, a mall. Still, still. Yeah, just uh, turning heads into Gallagher. There's someone in here. Yeah, go ahead and let it go. Be the, the palace that you are. Mm, yep. Okay, here's here's the guy we're looking for right here. Mm. He looks dead. Yeah. Click on him and finish the quest. All right. Oh. We're done. Finish it out. I mean, we see what I the 
Generic looking cobalt shrieks nonsense. I was going to be spending the evening in a super dungeon tonight. Well, we're all, we're all, all we got to do now is run back and get our aim reward. Alright. And turn around and go back in the area. Alright. The door was just walk out. Now it's just a run, talk to the fellow that's got a strong the smell of sewage permeates the air right around me. I totally missed that time. It was such a ways down here. That's why we're in recall. They didn't turn around, so we ain't got to make that run all the way back down here. Ben is dead? I don't believe it. He was always tempting fate heading into the sewers. The rumors and baubles, but no, it's too much to take. One right here and here. Okay. okay, what do we got here? Really wasn't anything I needed out of that, so I just took the good, uh, great deeds thing. You just finish out or recall out. We're done out here. All right. Now to go repair what I got banged up and. Uh, uh, I'm probably gonna call it a night here too at the same time, so. Alice told me of how you heroically rescued him and I'm saddened to learn of Ven's death. Cornwoids will hear of this and make the Cobalts pay. I must save my resources to deal with the Cobalts, so 
I can only reward you with this one time, even if you go into the broader works again. I can't afford to give you anything else, so choose a reward wisely. Yeah, I think I'll go to the same spot. You, you, you too, take care. I'm just going to clean up here and then get going. What's up with that guy? Well, thank you everybody for watching. This is Dave on CRPG Dungeons and Dragons Night and uh, CRPG D&D &D Night on Twitch. You guys take care and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. And looks like uh, things have all cleared up on uh, having things uh, all choppy on this. So I guess I'm going to continue with this anyway. So you guys take care and see you next time.